All right, just another quick video, um, this time talking about the ARB fridge that I have. Um, just wanted to talk about an issue I had, uh, which I haven't really seen anyone talk about, um, but is fairly important if you're installing one of these fridges, um, especially if you're running it off 12 volt batteries. So these guys have a 12 volt compressor, um, and the way it works is it will detect a low voltage. Um, you can set that low voltage to uh, three different settings, I think. And when it detects that low voltage, it's going to shut off so it's not damaging your batteries. Fantastic, right? Well, kind of. Um, when I installed this, because it's a 15 amp appliance, I ran a 15 amp cable to it. Um, however, That's where my fridge lives, and that's where my electrics live. Pretty close together, but I can't run a cable there because, well, this is a walkway. So, I ran a 15 amp cable on my fuse box, down under the ground, behind the back of the shower, behind that corner, up the wall, across through conduit you can see just here, there, across here, back down, and the outlet came out just here. And I didn't think about it at the time, even though I knew about it, is that with that length of, of cable run, you're going to have a significant voltage drop across what is that, maybe four or five meters or 15 amp cable. Um, at the very least, I should have used a, a much larger cable, like a six mil cable, um, you know, 60, 70 uh, amps, something like that. Um, even then, I'm not sure if that would have mitigated the voltage drop enough. So I had an issue where this was set to cut out at 11.5 volts, um, which is very low for a lithium battery. Um, and it was cutting out all the damn time. When I test my batteries, they were at 12 and a half volts, and I could not work out what the hell was going on. And then I remembered, voltage drop is a thing in DC systems. Um, so I was getting a massive voltage drop uh, from the batteries to here, um, and at the same time, because this thing is pulling so much power down that 15 amp line, uh, and a lot of it is getting lost in the form of resistance and heat, that it's wasting battery power, basically. Um, th these things are putting out as much power as the fridge requests, and the fridge is requesting heaps because it's not really getting any. Um, so that was the cause of a bit of an electrical issue there with my bo uh, batteries being drained very, very quickly, and that sucked. Um, when I figured out that that was the case, or at least when I suspected that that was the case, um, I bypassed my 15 amp wire with a million kilometer run, uh, and instead ran a cable down just underneath the floor here, back up, and this is that guy here. It's also a larger cable, um, I think uh, 14 gauge or something like that. Um, and it's rated at, I think, 50 or 60 amps. Uh, so there's plenty of room for all of the power that the fridge would need. Uh, once I put that in, all my problems went away. The fridge was staying on. It wasn't shutting off uh, early. Um, it wasn't uh, drawing an undue amount of power. Uh, it wasn't draining my batteries. And it was actually getting cold. Um, that cable run went down from five meters to about, oh, I'd say a meter and a half, which is about as short as I could get it. Um, and that made a huge difference. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I thought someone else out there might be having the same issue with their fridge. Um, if you are, try using a larger gauge of cable and make a shorter run and see if that fixes your problem. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.